Okay, now for question, I think it was 10, part B, let's make sure. No, 11, part B, from October, November 2018, paper 4, variant 2 of question on vectors. Um, they told us that OAB is a triangle and C is a midpoint of OB. So it kind of, this is like in the ratio 1 to 1. Okay, and D is on AB such that AD to DB is 3 to 5. So that's like 3 parts and that's like 5 parts like as a ratio. Okay, um, this is just like ratios I'm writing down, not lengths. Then it says OAE, OAE is a straight line such that O to A to O to E is 2 to 3. So that's like 2 parts and that's like 3 parts. So that's 5 parts all together. Here we have 2 parts all together. Here we have 8 parts all together. Okay, that's how the lines are divided. It says part one says find in terms of A and C in its simplest form the vector from A to B. The vector from A to B is minus A plus 2C because from O to C is 1C, from C to B is 2C. So it's going to be it's going to be minus A plus 2C. Let me just write it in this form so it's clearer for you. <coughs> Let me just write it like this first. Let me say that it's like, okay, A to B is like going from A to O, and then from O to C, and then from C to B. You can think of it like that. So A to O is minus A, and O to C is C, and C to B is also C. Then that's C and that's another C, so you end up with 2C minus A, or minus A plus 2C if you want, same thing. All right, that's A to B. Then it says a vector from A to D. Now, A to D is a fraction of A to B. What fraction of A to B is it? Well, all together here, how many parts do we have? It says that A to D to D to B is 3 to 5. So there's 8 parts all together. So it's 3 eighths of A to B. So we can say A to D is equal to 3 eighths of A to B. Okay, which is 3 eighths times our answer 2c minus a. So if you wanted to write it as fractions, you'll have, uh, that will be 3 over 4c minus 3 over 8a. Okay, it's 3 eighths of that vector, that's a to d. Then we have to find the vector from c to e. From c to e. Okay, now to find c, from c to e, we can go from c to o and then from O to A, and then from A to E, okay? Or we can say from C to E, let me just move this up here. Okay, so from C to E is from C to O, and then from O to E, we can say. From C to E is C to O, plus O to E, okay? Now, O to E, all right, is basically, this is two parts and this is three parts, okay? So we've got basically to find out what from O to E is, okay? Now O to A is two parts, so O to A is equal to, um, you can say basically two parts out of five, two parts out of five of O to E. Okay, from O to A is two parts out of five of O to E. So O to E, therefore, if we rearrange this, O to E is going to be five over two times O to A. Okay, just rearranging this equation. Well, yeah, you got O to A. If I want to go from O to A, that's two parts out of a total of five. The total parts is five, two to five. Okay, so that's two parts out of five, O to A. So therefore, if I rearrange this, multiply both sides by 5 and divide by 2, I have O to E is 5 over 2 times O to A. Okay, so it's 5 over 2 times A. Okay, so that's uh, C to O, which was, what was C to O? C to O is minus C, plus O to, t o to E, which is 5 over 2 times A. So you're left with 5 over 2 A minus C. Okay, and then part D says find the vector from C to D, from C to D. Okay, so if you want to go from C to D, we can go from C to O, 
and then from O to A and then from A to D. So C to D, or we could go from C to B and then from B to D. Okay, I think going this way will be better because, uh, well, this is going to be C. Okay, I suppose both of them would be fine. I'll go, I'll go this way, no problem. I'll, I know that from C to D, I'll just write it up here. So from C to D is from C to B plus from B to D. It doesn't matter which way I go, all right? It's just I'm trying to find ways where I already know some of the path. Well, this part is easy. C to B is the same as C. Okay, and B to D is 5 out of 8 times the opposite of A to B. Okay, what's the opposite of A to B? It's going to be A minus 2C. Okay, A to B is 2C minus A, so B to A is, is A minus 2C. That's going to be A minus 2C. So you've got to simplify that. Okay, let me just write that down here now in the right space. So if C to D, C to D is equal to, it was C to B plus B to D. C to B plus B to D. And as we said, C to B was just C. Okay, it was just C. And B to D was 5 out of 8 times A minus 2C plus 5 out of 8 times A minus 2C, which is the opposite of A to B, okay? All right, um, yeah, 5 eighths of that. Okay, so now we're going to have C plus 5 out of 8 times A minus 5 out of 4 times C. With 5 eighths times minus 2, the 2 and the 8 will cancel. So now we've got... Uh, 1c minus 5 over 4c, okay, so you're going to have a 1 minus 1 and a quarter, which is minus a quarter c, so you'll have 5 over 8a and minus 1 over 4c, oops, 1 over 4c, what's up in there, okay, so there we have answer just make just for you to be in case you're not sure this is like 4 over 4 minus 5 over 4 which is minus 1 over 4 okay so that's the answer to part D and now it's part 2 it says C E equals K times C D find the value of K well we already got C E and we already got C D so it tells us that C E is equal to some constant times C D okay so C E and C, that, that, that basically means that C, D, E all lie in the same straight, straight line because they have the same direction. That's what it's basically telling us. But anyway, they're not asking us about that here. They're just asking us to find the value of K. So C, E, which we've got here, so we know that 5 over 2 A minus C is equal to some constant times, K times 5 over 8 A minus a quarter C. And we have to find the value of k. So if you think about it, all right, um, if you, you can use, if you look at the a components and the c components, they have to be the same. Okay, if these are equal to each other, then the a component must be the same as the a component here. So we can say 5 over 2 on this side must equal 5 over 2 times k. And if you look at the c components, minus 1c on this side must equal minus a quarter times k on that side. Okay, so we can see that k basically has to be equal 4. All right, k has to equal 4. This, that should be 5 over 8 here, sorry. Let me just correct that. That's 5 over 8k. k times 5 over 8. Okay, and so whichever one of these you use, you'll find that k equals 4. If I, if I, if I deal with this one, I got, if I multiply both sides by minus 4, I will get rid of this. I'll have k is equal to 4. Okay? So k is equal to 4 solves both these equations. Okay, even this one, if I divide by 5, I'll have a half equals an eighth k. Multiply by 8, I'll end up with k equals 4. Okay, so k is equal to 4. And there's the answer to that question.